Hello everyone. Welcome to Fort City Commerce class. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more updates. If you find this video useful, like, share and comment. In this video, I am dealing with another method in time series analysis to measure the trend that is semi-average method. Semi-average method. As the name only tells, semi means half. The whole series, time series data is divided into two equal parts and then average is calculated for each part. That's why it is called as a semi-average method. The steps in semi average method. First, we have to divide the number of years into two equal parts. Here we have an example of six years data. So first we have to divide the series into two equal parts. That is first three and the next three. Next, we have to average the first part variables. That is the first part is 2010, 11 and 12. We have to average it. So the values of y has to be added and divided by 3 because the number of years is 3. And in the same man manner, the second part also, we have to find an average of the y variable. Next, we have to identify the middle years of each part. In the first part, the middle year is 2011. So 2010, 11, 12 is the first part. For that, the middle year is 2011. And in the second part, we have the middle year is 2014. That is for 2013, 14, 15, the middle year is 2014. Like this, we have to calculate and then we have to plot the data on the graph. This example is explained in the next slide. Problems on semi-average method. First problem, draw a trend line and estimate the demand for the year 2016. So we have to draw a trend line and we need to estimate, predict the value for the year 2016. So I took a previous problem as an example. See here, there are total six years from 2010 to 2015. Next, we have to predict for the next year next year what is the value so that has to be predicted so here demand values are given for six years in the semi-average method first we have to divide the series into two equal parts the first so there are total six years means two equal parts means three years and three years so first part is for three years and second part three years then we have to do the average of first part and average of second part. So average of first part means 2010, 11, 12. The values of y has to be added and divided by 3 because y3 means the total number of years are 3. So which is equals to 596. In the same manner, we have to calculate it for second part also. So such second part values 590 plus 680 and 655 divided by 3 which amounts to 642. Then we have to find out the middle, middle year of the two parts. The first part middle year is 2011. As there are three years, the second year will be the middle year. And next part middle year is 2014. See, when we are drawing a graph, these two values that is average values and the middle year are important. So while drawing the trend line, we draw a trend line based on this only. So we have to plot data for 2011, we have to uh, plot uh, data that is 596 and for 2014, we have to mark it for 642. So that's why these are these uh, 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 averages and the middle year are important in semi-average while drawing a trend line. So let's see the graph. So first while drawing a graph we have we have to write a title and scale. So the scale should be written top of the uh, graph and middle we have to draw a means we have to write a title. So here x axis represents year where 1 centimeter equals to 1 year and y axis represents demand where 1 centimeter equals to 20 units. See the scale follows like this 550 
to 570, 1 centimeter will be there. So, 1 millimeter equals 2. That is 550 to 554, 556 and 558, 560. Next, 562, 564, 566 and 568, 570. So, according, according to that, we have to mark the data. First, we have to plot the y variable data on the graph. So, the y variable data is 565 for the year 2010 and 598 for the year 2011, 625 for 2012, 590 for 2013 and 680 for 2014 and 655 for 2015. First, we have to plot the data of demand. Next, we have to draw a trend line based on the average and middle year, like this. So, first, we have to, for 2011, that is the middle year is 2011, for that we have to mark it for 2000, sorry, 596, and for 2014, we have to mark 642, here it will come, and we have to join the two points, we will get the straight line. As they ask estimation for the year 2016, up to 2016, we have to extend the line, which should be in a dotted line. So, then we have to join line perpendicular and horizontally and vertically, vertically for the trend line. So, we will get the value for uh, the year 2016. So, the estimated demand for the year 2016 is 672. Here you can get the 672. So, when we join the line from 2016 vertically as well as horizontally, the horizontally it touches the y variable, y axis. So, the value is 672 units. By this we can estimate the demand or any variables in the semi-average method. Semi-average method al first na vayen maadbe kondhanre. First na mi kottira series na yaradu equal parts agi divide maad kondhu. First part to matte second part. Yaradu do average calculate maad kobe ko. Matte first part na middle yearu matte second part na middle year na mark maad kobe ko. Ishte calculation so. Next to na wo graph na plot maad daga. First to y value ine nirati. Le demand is the y. So, our values are now graph will plot. Next, to trend line na draw. We have 2011 na 596 plot. Uh, Next, 2014 is 642. Now, we have to join the points. We have to join the points. We have to join the straight line. We have trend line. We have to join the estimation. We have to join the estimation. We have to trend line. Na, uh, increase Martha Hope. So, in 2016, it killed the end. The Oliver got trend line na, extend Madidivi. So, value is to the Gotak Bekondre. Our trend line is touch a Gotara on the vertical, Mathe horizontal lag in our line on a Tokondaga. A horizontal line y axis only touch a gate. A y axis in a yellow point irato, a point a line irato value. That is estimated figure for the year 2016. Illinamigi 672 is the value for. The year 2016 Draw a trend line by the method of semi average from the data and estimate the sales for the year 2018 from the graph. So the values are given up to 2016. We have to predict the value for the next year after year, that is 2018. Uh, uh, the sales figures were given up to 2016. In the previous problem, we have seen that there are total even numbers in the series. The values which is given is even numbers. But here, odd numbers. In previous, there are the values for 6 years. But here, values for 7 years is given. So, in this situation, when we are dividing the equal parts, so, we, are, we divide it as 3.5 and 3.5. So, then the calculation will be not appropriate. For that purpose, we have to first cancel the middle of the year of the series, that is 2013 has to be cancelled. Then we have to divide the years. 
into two equal parts that is from 2010 to 2012 next 2014 to 2016 so by that we can divide it in equal parts then we have to average the first part and also second part then middle of the year has to be marked out then we have to draw a graph here in the graph the x-axis denotes years and y-axis denotes the sales the scale of the uh, graph is one x-axis one centimeter equals to one year and y-axis one centimeter equals to 200 units so if 200 units per one centimeter means one millimeter is 20 units by that scale we have to draw the values of sales first actual values have to be drawn so by that see here only for the purpose of trend line calculation we have to cancel 2013 but not for drawing a graph so while drawing a graph we have to consider 2013 and we have to plot the data on the graph next we have to draw a trend line so the trend line values are for 2011 we have to draw uh, we have to mark 800 and for 2015 we have to mark 1200 and next they ask to predict the value for the 2018 year so we have to extend our trend line up to 2018 then we have to draw a vertical and horizontal lines so by that we can uh, find out the value for 2018 so therefore the estimated sales for the year 2018 is 1500 units see previous problem alli en madidvi antandre alli sama sankhe gal kottidru andre 6 years kottidru illi 7 years kottaga middle year na a series ina middle year yadagirutte 4th year illi 7 varsha kottirodrinda 4th year na navu cancel maadi next calculation procedure same so avaradannu calculate first part to second part anta maadkonu calculate maadbe next the next problem is draw a trend line by the method of semi average from the data and estimate the production for the year 2018 from the graph so we have to estimate the value with the help of graph here the year is from 2010 to 2017 there are total 8 years so the even years is given where we can easily divide the whole data into two equal parts but the thing is we have to mark the middle year for each of the part so in this case when we divide the whole data into two equal parts four year each part will be there so in that four years the middle year will become 2011 and 12 or 2011.5 so in this case how we have to calculate so in this problem first we divide the whole data into two equal parts that is from 2010 to 2013 and 2014 to 2017 and average of first part is 102.5 and average of second part 109 so when we are taking the middle of the year so it will be 2011 or 2012 we cannot take a middle of that so either we have to take 2011 or 2012 normally we will take the first value that is 2011 and in the same manner for 2015 or 2016 normally usually in semi-average method we will take 2015 the first middle will be taken as a middle of the year then the same thing we have to plot our data so first the scale is always in time series we take x axis as time which represents the time here years it may be month also so year has to be taken one centimeter equals to one year in y axis the production is taken one centimeter equals to five units so five units means one millimeter which is equals to 0 0.5 units for one unit you have to take two millimeters about it so then we have to plot the y values y values are plotted on the graph then for trend line for 2011 we have to mark 102.5 and 2015 we have to mark 109 and the estimation is asked so the trend line is extended up to 2018 to know the value we will write the vertical and horizontal line it touches the y-axis the y-axis value is 
114 unit. So, on the basis of graph, the company has to produce 114 units in the year 2018. So, in semi-average, we will come across three kinds of problem. One is even number of years and middle of the year is can, can easily be find out. In second one, odd number of years where we have to reject the middle of the year in the series. And third one is we have even number of years but when where there is a difficulty to find out the middle year of each part then we have to take in the middle years we have to take the first year as a middle year for the uh, semi-average method. This is about the semi-average method and the calculation procedures. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I will deal with moving average method. Thank you all.